my name is Shayna Taylor. I'm founder and CEO of Bottle and Stone in Shayna's Kitchen. So I decided to create a lemon poppy seed loaf with a really good coconut drizzle on top. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. Super simple, gluten-free, nothing complicated. I'm gonna start with our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients. Those dry ingredients are one cup of almond flour, half a cup of hazelnut flour, coconut sugar, a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix all those dry ingredients nice and good. Now for the wet ingredients, you want four eggs. Now we're gonna do lemon. I'm gonna do three lemons. So we have one fourth cup melted coconut oil. I'm gonna put that in the wet ingredients as well. A little bit of vanilla extract. Swirl it like this. Now we are going to pop this in the oven. It is at 350 degrees and it's gonna bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, while we wait for her to bake, we are going to create the beautiful coconut lemon glaze on top. So for the glaze, we're gonna do one fourth cup lemon juice, which is about half of a, like a larger size lemon. Then I'm gonna do coconut cream. So only the top of the can, a couple tablespoons of honey. Coconut oil. Now we're just gonna mix that all up. So an optional thing that you can do, I love to put my CBD into my food at any time. So I have a 300 milligram cinnamon tincture because I thought the cinnamon would go really good with the glaze. So I'm just gonna put a couple tincture full of this uh, in my glaze, but this is obviously optional. A little stir. It's nice and perfectly golden brown, nice and warm. guys, that is my lemon poppy seed loaf with my coconut glaze. It's a great alternative and something to change up from banana bread. It's good for breakfast, it's good for a snack, and it's good for dessert, so can't go wrong.